Katie Patterson. I'm a mom of five. I turned 46 this year. Um, I live in Brooklyn with my family and I'm a native New Yorker. I have had a, an eclectic career uh, in publishing, in nightlife, in music. I decided to sort of no longer work for anyone else and do something that was really sort of emotional for me um, and personal to me. And so I started my own beauty company. Um, and then came my third child, Penelope, who I assumed was a girl. Um, and then about into the second year of Penelope's life, I um, realized I was wrong. <laughs> Penelope was trying to tell us, even before Penelope could speak, um, no to the pink toothbrushes, no to the fairies and princesses, only yes to Spider-Man, Superman, all the superheroes. Penelope was understanding um, gender marks and was pointing to them to say, that's who I am. You know, If that's for a boy, that's who I am. That's what I want. One summer, um, Penelope was extremely angry one day and just like knocking blocks over and um, screaming at his brother and I just pulled Penelope into a bedroom um, quietly and I was like, okay, both of us are on timeout. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you so angry? And um, you know, Penelope said, well, because everyone thinks I'm a girl and I'm not. And so I still thought I was defending this girl's right to be any kind of girl she wanted to be. Tough. So I said, okay, well, however you feel on the inside is fine, thinking this is a tough tomboy. Tom and then Penelope said, no, mama, I don't feel like a boy. I am a boy. And so I thought, oh, shoot, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what we're talking about here. Um, but I did know that it was very different from what I thought. And so I just stopped and listened for about an hour. And Penelope just talked to me about um, his world what he liked. He liked Papa. He wanted to be the Papa. Um, I love you, Mama, but I don't want to be you. Um, I want the doctors to make me a peanut. Um, I don't want tomorrow to come. I, um, I hate my body. You know, these are the things. And I didn't really know anything about Penelope's world. I didn't feel like I had um, enough to give. And I also felt like I had maybe missed something or didn't, I hadn't done something with Penelope. I thought maybe I had forgotten to teach feminism. But then the more I started listening to Penelope, you know, those, those initial fears sort of went to the background a little bit um, in that moment because I was just um, open. You know, I had my, there's my kid. You know, that was, that conversation that I had with Penelope was, I'll never forget it. I mean, I, I remember it like it was yesterday. I don't think he does because he was only three. Now I look back and I'm like, Penelope's probably the easiest kid out of all of them. The least, the one that I'm least concerned with. He's very confident. He's um, class president, karate champion. Um, and he's really interesting. Like he does not feel the need to change himself in many ways. He's really a boy, not because of anything, just because. And so this boy um, is a great at math and he snowboards. He also likes facials and he brushes my hair for an hour. I mean, I ask him to, but <laughs> he enjoys it. Those are the things that make that matter. That he's trans is um, an aspect to him, but when we're sitting down at the dinner table, <laughs> he's not eating trans food and he's not speaking trans language. He's just this funny, great, smart, witty kid. There is a larger issue here. And we always have to stand up for that large issue. Um, and I don't tell Penelope this is only about you because I just think that's too much for him. I don't tell him that people want to kill him or hate him um, for being who he is. I don't say that because that's just too much for a kid. I, I can't even get the words out when I say that. But what I do tell my children is you know who you are and then you have to tell the world who you are and then the world has to deal with it. And then we're here to help people deal with it. <laughs> but what you have to do is determine who you are and then let me know and then I'm here with you.